And here we are with our near final rendering. In the last episode we animated our warlock who's just walking into view now. And it was great except that we hadn't timed it with the camera so it didn't animate in quite the way that it is doing here. In this episode we're going to use a timeline to make that happen. So now we need to create the timeline that is going to control this. We could trigger the event using a number of different approaches, um, such as having a script that when the camera got to a certain point, it triggered the timeline, the, um, the uh, Pegasus. But we're going to use timeline. And to do this, I'm going to create an empty object. I'm going to call it director, as in the person that directs the action. I'm going to open the timeline window. So that is window sequencing timeline. And then I'm going to create a director timeline on this object and it wants to know where to save them. I typically put them inside of a timelines folder inside assets but you can put them wherever you want. I'm going to overwrite this one. This is from when I was doing test runs before so I'm just going to agree to overwrite that. And I now have my timeline. By default it assumes you're going to animate the thing that you're attaching it to. That's not the case here so I'm going to remove the animator component and remove the animation timeline up there and I want to do two things here I want to um, trigger the default uh, Pegasus manager the one that's doing the camera fly through so activation to do this we need the object to not be active at the start and we do want it to play on start and then back to our timeline if we click on the director we want to make sure that this object is active for the full duration of the playback. So 134 seconds is well over the, the length of the video. Um, the next thing I want to do is activate the timeline for the uh, Warlock. And again, I want it inactive to start with, but I do want it to play on start. So drag that into the director timeline and an activation track. And I need to know where to, to start this. And the easiest way to do that is to look at one of the uh, playback test videos we've done. So we'll open up the window for that. We'll open the most recent. We'll scrub through. And this, uh, let me see. This is where we should start to see him. And as we fly down, we should kind of follow behind him a little bit and then see him finishing up there. So 38 seconds is the end of that. So let's take a guess and see where we end up. Go to timeline, drag it across. It tells you over here the start time in seconds and the end time in seconds. So 68 is far too late to start. Um, let's say maybe 30 seconds perhaps. Okay, and we obviously want it to run longer than that. So it's, it's about a 20 second clip, if that. So we'll uh, give it 20 seconds. Um, I believe that is all we need. The Pegasus Manager is disabled, will be enabled by the director. The play on start is set, play on start. Okay, let's cl uh, click play. And I want to be looking at the director timeline. Let's click play and see what happens. So we're just coming around now to where it should be triggered. OK, it's just started. There he is. He's animating. I think we've started it too late by about four, five, six, about six seconds too late. So let's move that forward. Six seconds, so to about 24 seconds. So let's try that again and we'll, uh, we'll fast forward the beginning of the playback here. Okay, we're coming back to the start of the playback time should just be triggering now so our warlock yep yeah, you can just see him there if you were eagle-eyed you could just see him there he is he's walking us through we fly down okay we lose him so we probably pick that up a bit 
but we are oh that looks good that looks good all right so i just think we want to pick that one poi up um as it goes through the grass it looked pretty good when there wasn't something else to see uh, but at this point um it it's uh, it's distracting from the character so we go to the fly cam So I will run the render this time. To do the render, I go to Recorder, hit Start Recording. So our render is complete. Let's take a look. Our fly in looks good as we would expect since we haven't changed this at all. Coming over now. We can just see him. He's not yet moving. The birds distract us from him. Uh, there was, he actually disappeared when he started animating. I need to do something about that. So, looking good. Yeah. Excellent. He's got a bit of a funny twist towards the end there as he moves to look at a different um, place. We can probably improve on that. But overall, I'm pretty ha happy with that. And with, with everything we do here, we tweak piece by piece so we'll call that a day next i'm going to do something very exciting and here we have the near final rendering of the video this is the same part we've been working on in this episode and we can see that although i have tweaked it a little bit improved a few things changed the speed a little etc etc it's broadly speaking exactly as it was in this episode in the next episode, we're going to be doing something very exciting. We're going to be adding a dragon. And here he is. So, see you soon.